Pauline, welcome to the PDS Online Academy tutorial. Thanks for watching our videos online. Please, if you have not yet subscribed to this YouTube channel, do well now to press the subscribe button and the notification bell and have to see all of our educative videos online. Please and please help us to serve you better by dropping your comments and not sharing these videos with your friends, families, relatives and colleagues at school. Thank you and God bless you. Today we have before us the biology practical paper one theory, which is the alternative to what biology practical. And today we will be considering the, what the topic in vertebrates. As we know that organisms are divided into two major kingdoms, which is the what the kingdom animalia and the kingdom plantae. And we also have what the kingdom, the third kingdom protista. But under the kingdom animalia, under the kingdom animalia. Animals can also be divided into two groups, invertebrates and vertebrates. And we have talked about vertebrates. We said vertebrate animals are animals with five bones. We can also do well to what to watch the videos on under what under vertebrate what animals. But today we will be considering invertebrate animals. Invertebrate animals are animals without backbone. Invertebrate are animals. Invertebrates are animals. A group of animals without backbone. Invertebrates are a group of animals without invertebrates are animals without what backbones. Animals without backbones. Animals without backbone. And they are grouped into what backbones. They are grouped into what into what into several divisions. We have almost like we have five to six groups of what of what of invertebrates. And the first example of infertibility, the first example of infertibility that we have is Colentrata. 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 So, PG, we have the Hydra, the jellyfish of water, the jellyfish of water, and then we have the sea anemones. This is an example of what? Colentrata. Colentrata. Now, the second one other infertibility is what? We have the Analidia. Analida, Analida, we have the Analida. These are a group of earthworms. These are a group of worms. They are usually fast to as worms and they are cylindrical and round in shapes. So, LG, we have what? Earthworm, the popular word, known animal, that has what? That has no ear or what? No eyes. So, we have what? We have the earthworm, we have the, the earthworm, we have the leeches. Lichi is also good as an example of what an alida and we have what the, the marine worms, the marine worms, the marine worms. So these are examples of the marine worms. These are examples of an alida. The second one is second, the third infertibrates that we have, the fourth, the third, the third infertibrate group that we have here is the plat, plat. Emitites. Plant emitites. Now, emitites, when I talk about plant emitites, these are worms which are flat. These are what? These are flat worms. They are flat worms. And most especially, they are what? They are parasitic in nature. They feed on what? On living what? On, the, on living organisms. They are plastic. And the popularly known example of plant emitites is the tapeworm. The tapeworm. The tapeworm, we have the placentitis, the tapeworm, we have the liver fluke. We call them fluke, liver fluke. They are, they are most especially they are parasitic. The emetites are very, very what? The plus emetites are very parasitic. The parasitic are very, very parasitic. We have, we have the tapeworm, the fluke, we have also the tapeworm, the fluke, and so on and so forth. So, plus emetites are flat worms. They are usually amorphodetic in nature, that is, both analidia and not plus emetites are usually what amorphodetic in nature, that is, they have both male and what and female gamete on themselves. Now, on now look at, for example, now look at this, this earthworm, which is, belongs to the group of what analidia, has both male and female gametes on what on one of these things. And tape also has both female and male uh, male gametes on it on themselves. So this they produce it means that they have both the male and female organs in one organism. So we call them amaphroditic organism. So we have the first one, the colentata, the analida, 
the plus a metals. So which is the what the third one? The fourth one is the fourth one here is what we have the word the arthropoda. Or let me just go to the word the mollusca first. Now I'm talking about mollusca. Mollusca consist of animals. Mollusca consist of what? Group of animals. They are a group of animals which have soft bodies. Which are what? Which are which, which are which, which have soft bodies, but they are protected. They are protected by a what? By a hard calcaceous what? Shells. Now I repeat myself again. Okay? Mollusca consist of group of what? Animals which have soft bodies. Which usually which are usually protected by what which are usually protected by what by a protective shell by a protective shell e.g. a popular example of this one is what the snail you can see that the snail has a soft body and it has a what a shell at the back so it's a very very popular example of what of mollusca we have what snail we have moose shells moose shells and what and we have slugs. So this is an example of mollusks. They are usually what they are. They are usually animals with they are usually animals with soft bodies, and they have shells around them. So now, lastly, under the what under the classification of what invertebrates, we have something called arthropods. Arthropods or called arthropoda. So arthropod or arthropoda. So we have the word called arthropod or arthropoda. So e.g. now arthropoda. Is one of the what? It's one of the most. It's one of it's one, it's one of the biggest phylum. In fact, it's the biggest phylum under what? Under what? The class of invertebrates. So it's one. Of, it's the biggest phylum under the what? Under the so the kingdom called what? Invertebrates. So arthropod consists of several what? Several classes of what? Of animals and this class of animals can what? Can is in what? Is the number of four? We have what? We have four classes of what of arthropoda. The first class is what the first class is crustaceans. So, e.g., the prom prom is prom prom is what is is found in water. It's found in water. They what it's found in water. Now, the crustaceans which is prom is found in water. We have the what we have the arachnida. The arachnida. The arachnida. Is what the example is what spider. Arachnida example is what spider. We have what the next one here is we have the what the mirror points. Mirror point are set of what organism that have more than what they have more than they have more than six pairs of they have more than three pairs of legs. That is they have eight legs, ten legs, they walk, they have many legs. That they work on example are centipede and millipedes, millipedes and centipedes, and centipedes, millipedes and centipedes. And lastly, here is what is the group of, called insecta, insecta, the group called insecta. We know it as what insects, but the group is named what insecta. Insecta is one of the most successful what arthropods. And they are the only invertebrate that can fly. Now I'm telling you this word. It's one of the successful. The insect is one of the successful words. Successful words. Arthropods. Arthropods. They are one of the successful words. Arthropods. Arthropods. They are one of the successful words. Arthropods. Which and they are one of the most successful arthropods. And they are the only invertebrate. They are the only invertebrate that can. Fly, they can fly. So now, insect. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be talking about the word insect. I'm talking about insects. What are the characteristics of the word of the group called insect? The class called insect. Insect has three body divisions. It has three body divisions: the head, the thorax, and the what abdomen. You can see here. You can see the head here. The head, the thorax, and the abdomen. The head, the thorax, and the abdomen. So these are examples of what insect are. The head, the thorax, and the abdomen. The head, the thorax, and the abdomen. So we are going to be going into insect fully. Insect, insect. So now, what makes insect? What make the anomaly to be an insect? Number one, 
the body division must be into three parts the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. Now, also one of the attributes or what characteristics of what of an insect or of, a, of an organism that belong to the world, the group called insect, is that they have three pairs of jointed legs. Three pairs of jointed legs. You can see three pairs of jointed legs. Now these legs. One, one, this is one pair, one, two, this is pair, one, two, this is another pair, one, two, this is another pair. So they have three pair. That is, they have six legs. Three pairs and six legs. That is two pairs. Three. So we have what? They have six pairs of what? Of jointed legs. You can see the legs are jointed. So this is one of our, our, the one, the one characteristics that they have. The body are divided into three parts: the head, the thorax, and the, and the abdomen. The second one is that they have three pairs of jointed legs. As you can see. Look at this. This one also has three pairs of jointed legs, but this leg is not shown here. It also has three pairs of jointed legs. Now, now it also has some, some are also, now they have compound eyes. These are called compound eyes. They have what? The compound eyes. They have the compound eyes. The compound eyes. They have what? Also, they have a pair of antenna. The pair of antenna is antenna. This is an antenna. So, these are the characteristics of what? Of an insect. Or an organism that belongs to the group called insecta. So, so they have what abdomen, they have for thorax and the head as the body part. They have for three pairs of jointed legs. They have an antenna, a pair of antenna. They have wings. Some of them have wings. Not all have wings, but some of them have wings, which are what attached to the world, to the thorax. Now, let's go into the question that we have today, which is what. The diagram below are illustration of two organisms. Study them and answer the question 3A to, to, to F. So we have to use this diagram A and B to answer the question that follows. Now, this is an organism A, this is an organism B. Now, identify the organism A and B. As I've already told you that, that you are going to observe the words for you to be able to correctly what tell us the name of a particular organism. You have to look at the physical features of the organism. You can see the organism has wings. It has what it has the body transferring to what into head, thorax, and abdomen. So this is an insect. This an insect. This this, this, this belongs to an insect. The group of insects belongs to the group of insects. So this insect. A is an insect, is an insect, is also an insect. So, which type of insect is this? Obviously, we know that A is what? So, we are going to the answer, answer, answers. Now, the answers to the, word, to the questions now. We have that. We have A to be what? A is. A is. Butterfly. Butterfly, which have. The candidate name of Papilo SP. Papilo SP. And B is what? B is Housefly. Housefly. Mosca SP. The botanic name. The SP that is Papilo species. So this is O. So so that is that about what identifying the what the organism. So we have the butterfly, papillo sp, and the what the B aspect that is the housefly muscam sp. Now name the parts I to what X. Now you can see this one, this place here now is touching the head. So we have the head here. The head, this is the head. Now, the head, we have, this is the antenna. Antenna, you can see the, the pair of antenna. This is this antenna, you call it what? If it is one that we are labeling, you call it antennae. Antennae, so antennae, that is one. Antennae, we have what? We have the, yeah, after the head, we have the, the thorax. This is thorax. This is thorax. This is thorax. This one we have this is called abdomen. 
the arc domain and the last one here okay this is the arc domain this one is the the wing the wing now the butterfly have two type of wing the in and the word the the four leaves the four in the four wing and the word the injury wing but here if you are not sure whether it is old, if you are not sure whether it is four or whether it is what in it's better you be on the same side the right word other words a wing 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 so this one is up to me up to me so can successfully say that this is what this is what this is the wing this is the up to me so you have simply what they got is the head the antenna the thorax the wing and the words the up to me don't forget that this organism is called but out butterfly and this one is called what this one is called house fly house fly house fly butterfly house fly now so we can also see how can we liberate this one let's liberate this one so we should liberate it to one so this one is antennae and can see that the antennae here is a little bit shorter comparable to what this one so now we have what i have the head as well i have the head as well the head the head as well we have the head as well well what is this one now this one's no wing wing and put it somewhere so that it can contain it we have what the wing we have the last one here we have what leg the pair of what the jointed leg so you have leg we have the the antennae the belt this one is the compound eyes the compound eyes compound compound eyes it's compound eyes so don't forget it is house fly it's house fly now this is what the part of it have this this antenna this is what the head the compound eyes the wing the what the legs these are the part of the what of the whole business that we have just left a state one function of each of the parts we are asked to state the function of each of the parts that is Roman numeral Roman numeral B that is B that's the term B state the function of parts what V I then V I I that is seven and we should also state the function of what function of what we go six we go seven we go nine and we go what ten what is the function of those parts now we go six is what we go six is we go six is what and then it so the one plus six is antennae. So antennae and what is the function of antennae? That's the question you need to ask yourself. The function of antennae. Antennae is used for used for sensitivity. When you hold light, when you hold a light, or you hang light, and you put it around the one light, and you discover the cockroach in your house. In your house, you see the 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 antenna of the cockroach will react it's it sends light it sends the light that something as well as the light day. so it's just for one of the usefulness of what of the antenna in an insect is for sensitivity which very for sensitivity sensitivity and touch it's for sensitivity it's for what function it serves as what for sensitivity and not sensitivity and touch and touch sense of feeling so sensitivity and touch when you touch it so for sensitivity and touch so that is the major function of what from the antenna now the remark go eight is what remark go eight remark go eight we have the compound eyes compound eyes is for vision for for sight compound eyes we use the eyes for seeing now and what also the insect use the word the eyes for sight or vision for sight or what vision now we have from Africa nine which is the wing 
Mathematical nine, which is equal to wind. The wind, the wind is used for what? For flight of light, of light, or of, of light, of flying. So of light, of flying. So we have this the compound that is not got seven is compound. We have got weight is compound that which is used for sight or vision. We have got nine is wind, which is used for what? Flight. I remember we got X the leg. What do you say for, for walking? So the reason is for walking, for walking, for walking, or running. For walking, running, crawling, to pass. Name the specific habitats of organism A. Organism A is butterfly. Now, butterfly is often found in a we saw people found around a garden, especially in the flowering woods, garden. So, garden or farm, especially woods, especially flowering woods, flowering plants, flowering plants. So, around flowering, so containing flowering plants. So, garden is usually seen in garden or farm containing what flowering plants because. Butterfly is an agent of pollination. It's an agent of pollination. It sucks nectar from the from the flowering plant, thereby carrying the pollutants from the from the male garment to the female garment of the plant. So that's why butterfly is found in the what in the garden where flowering plants are what are being what are being what are being planted. So that is that is one of the major application of what of Flower of, of butterfly. So the next the application of what of us my is fine in a dirty place such as what latrines, unkept toilets, bath toilets, dump refuse bin, dump, dump refuse. State structural similarities between what. Between organism A and organism B. So, what are the similarities? What are the things that they have in, in common? Similarities. The similarities between A. Between A and B. They both have what? Now, look at this one. Look at this. They both have wings. So, this one has wings. Both organisms have number one. They have number one. Both of them have what? Wings. I think they both have wings. Two. So I have a bit of 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 a Compound of Compound eyes. They have what? Compound eyes. They also have what? Number three. They also have three body divisions. That is three body divisions. Three body divisions, which is the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. And the abdomen, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. They have three body divisions. As many as possible, you can see they have antennae. They have antennae. Antenna, they have antenna, they have antenna, they have antenna. So that is five. They are asked to measure three. So you can measure more than you can measure more, you can see more than that, but we have to mention three. State the structural difference. Now we are talking about difference, we have to calculate it. The difference. We are talking about the difference. The differences between what? A and what? B. So we have we are saying A, we are saying B. So the other difference that you can see in A and B. Now look at this. this one has broad what? Broad but wings. They have the broad, this one has broad wings. This one has a little bit narrow wings. Narrow wings. That this you can also obviously see that this one has short this. The, the wings of this one is smaller to this. So number one, number two is that. Now, 
there are three that you can see that this the antenna of this one is not antenna on the knee antenna is what and the knee is not or clogged is not or clogged antenna is not is not clogged and the antenna is clogged this is also clogged or knocked so why this antenna is not knocked or clogged now what else can we see we can see that the this one has smaller words compound eyes smaller compound eyes the bigger one compound eyes what can we see also everything that we can see here a lot a lot of we have now the antenna is short the antenna of this one is short this one is long this one has long antenna and the knee short words and the knee that's singular words and the so that name the class of A and B A and B belongs to which class with, with these properties I know we have said it earlier on that one of the characteristics of an insect is what is is that they both have what three body divisions they have what the head the thorax and the abdomen the antenna and so on and so forth so a and b belongs to the class to the class insect the class called the class called insect but if they say what phylum does it belong to? The phylum, the class is insecta. The phylum is Arthropoda. The phylum is what? Arthropoda, but they didn't ask it. So I just want you to know that the phylum is what? Arthropods. Arthropods. The phylum is arthropod. Why the what? The phylum is arthropod. Why the class? Because they are asking us the class now. So the, the class is insecta. The class is of insecta. So name the class of belongs. Tell the reason why. Tell the reason for the answer in 3F. Now, what are they what? Why are they insecta? Why are they called insect? The reason Reason for being an insect and reason for being insect for being insect. Now number one is that the body division, three body divisions, I've already said it. Three body words. Body divisions and so you have three body divisions. That's three body divisions. Number one. Number two is that they have compound eyes. Compound eyes are not and a pair of antenna. Let's write all this picture for you. A pair of they have wings, they have what? Pairs of jointed legs. Three pairs of, of jointed words. legs. Also have what? and so on and so forth so lastly they said which is G the biological importance of A which is butterfly the biological importance of butterfly biological importance of A which is butterfly I don't know about the biological importance of butterfly butterfly is is an agent of what Butterfly is an agent of pollination. But A is an agent of what? It's an agent of pollination. It helps us to what? It helps the plant. It helps the agent of pollination. It helps the plant to carry pollen from the main, main gamete, the female word, female word gamete on the plant. And 
one of the important agents of what pollination is butterfly because as a result of butterfly coming to suck what the what the nectar of the what of the plant it carries the what the polygrains along and as it carries the polygrains and get to another what and get to another plant they drop the what the polygrains and thereby align what causing what pollination to take place which bring about what the production in plant another thing is that butterfly serve as a source of food for some ones so for some animals there are some animals that eat butterfly in fact a lot of animals some animals eat what butterflies so and that's that we have come to the end of today's class if you have any comment any words any questions or any additions please remember to drop it at the comment box don't forget to what to subscribe to this YouTube channel and make this word and share these videos with your words with your fellow colleagues wish you all the best in your various exams we love you all thank you and god bless you bye bye